consider you have a 6 by 6 matrix like this and you need to find out uh, sum of all the shapes which look like character i and which uh, uh, have three cells on the top row three in the bottom row and one cell in between so exactly these shapes in this entire array you need to find which shape has sum as maximum and you want to print uh, that maximum sum so if we look at all the possible combinations we'll find out uh, that first three rows would have uh, four you can say combinations that are possible similarly for if we skip the first row then second third and fourth uh, in these three rows we'll be having again four combinations then f uh, if we skip first two uh, using third fourth and fifth we'll be getting four combinations and starting from fourth up to last row we'll be getting again four combinations so in total uh, we have 16 combinations that are possible in uh, a 6 by 6 matrix now uh, through VBA we need to evaluate uh, the maximum sum which is possible in a 6 by 6 array so for that uh, we'll, we'll uh, print this thing or we'll write this thing in uh, Microsoft Excel we'll open VBA editor now we need to write the logic so for that we have seen in uh, the, the pictures that we have drawn that there would be a loop which would be controlling uh, the rows which we are moving from so we are first covering first three rows and then two three four and then three four five and then four five six so if we take uh, that as a start row uh, you can say for i equals one two four because we are starting from first row and going up to fourth row here we'll be having all the combinations and then if we talk about columns again columns start with first uh, in in this combination and then in second combination all these uh, four have second third and fourth column and then third fourth and fifth column and then fourth fifth and sixth column so it starts with one and maximum it can go up to four so we can again go back to the VB editor and here in the inner loop we can write for column here here we can change it to R so that it represents row and for C equals again 1 2 4 now when we are at a specific row and a specific column here we need to evaluate the sum and because we need to print the maximum value of the sum uh, we will hold it in a temporary value and then every time we'll be comparing whether that sum is greater than the previous value if it is uh, greater than that then just uh, swap those values or just overwrite the sum uh, otherwise just keep the sum as maximum whatever the previous value was so initially we set the sum value uh, uh, the maximum sum value max sum equals zero so here we can say now max sum is nothing but sum of uh, first elements so here we go uh, if we look at the first image we have cells uh, three cells of first row middle row uh, we have uh, one cell from the middle row and then three cells from the bottom row so this is what we need to write uh, in terms of excel cells we can write cells row index is i i uh, i not not i but r and then column index is uh, we are starting from uh, 1 up to 4 so column index is uh, what in the first case it would be 1 2 3 and then in the second uh, case it would be 2 3 and 4 and then 3 4 and 5 and then 4 5 and 6 so it, it keeps on changing row numbers we have seen uh, that is also changing and we already kept it uh, dynamic uh, but this thing we need to uh, make dynamic so column starts from 1 2 4 we need to look into this so we can say uh, the, for, for the first case uh, the value of column is c right and then dot value plus C plus 1 which is the value of the next column and then plus 
c plus 2 which is the value of the third column right similarly when we go to second row so plus cells r plus 1 comma column dot value plus we can copy this uh, for the for, for the middle row we just need c plus 1 not uh, any other value but uh, for the last row we need uh, r plus 2 c dot value and then r plus 2 c plus 1 dot value and then r plus 2 c plus 2 dot value so here we have uh, the entire sum now we can compare if uh, you can say uh, you can you can hold this in a temporary variable uh, like temp and then if you can uh, if you can uh, write like this if temp is greater than max sum in that case just overwrite the value of maxim maxim is equal to temp otherwise uh, just uh, leave this value right so this way we'll be having all the comparisons and then in the end we can simply print the value in a message box message sum right so we are good to run it now it prints a blank value something is wrong uh, okay because uh, we are on first row first column but here our values are in the fourth uh, uh, you can say column and fifth row so we can set an offset we can set an offset because we are not starting from first to four rather we are starting from five to and we are going up to eight so R is starting from five to eight and column is starting from uh, again uh, it, it's starting from 4 and we need to go up to 5 6 and 7 so 4 to 7 right so now when we run it oh, something again wrong let us see what is wrong so so for that we can debug it so r is 5 initially C is 4 initially, value of R5, C4, R5, C5, uh, because C plus 1 is 5, and then R5, C plus 2 is 4, right, this is okay, so if we right click and add a watch to see the value, so it gives us 5, so first 3 values give us 5, 3, 1, 1, that is okay, and then the second row value, so it's r plus 1 c plus 1 its value is 1 this is also okay and the last value is uh, it's 3 so so let us calculate 1 plus 1 plus 1 this is also okay now when we add these values what is the value of temp temp is 9 which is okay so 9 is greater than max sum this is also fine so max sum should be replaced uh, with a new value so now max sum is 9 fine so this way we'll keep on checking and in the end oops so so we printed a, a wrong value ideally uh, it's not message sum it's max sum so the logic was correct it was just a typing error so it prints 23 so now let, let us validate it we again go back to the combinations we can see the first combination is 3 1 1 1 1 1, 1. so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so so far 9 is the greatest then 1 2 3 4 4 this is not the maximum 5 and 6 this gives us 6 and this gives us 13 and this gives us 10 so 4 to 8 9 10 and then 5 4 9 and uh, 11 and 4 15 so 5 4 9 and then 13 3 and 6 9 8 10 and 2 12 so 4 2 8 and 1 9 4 4 8 2 10 
फोर टू सिक्स 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 ट्वेल्व थर्टीन एंड थर्टीन एंड नाइन ट्वेंटी टू एंड वन इज ट्वेंटी थ्री सो सो फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री इज द मैक्सिमम एंड देन फोर टू सिक्स वन सेवन टू नाइन 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 एटीन एंड देन फोर फोर टू गिवज अस टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन एंड देन एटीन वन नाइनटीन सो फोर फोर एट एंड देन ट्वेल्व एंड देन फोर्टीन so so far 24 was maximum and that is what we were getting as a output so this way we write our logics in uh, microsoft excel and uh, this is one simple case of uh, nesting of for loops so if you uh, like this video uh, do not forget to uh, put a comment or uh, you can also subscribe to our channel uh, my name is kamal gedar and uh, you are watching this video on our youtube channel extreme excel goodbye